Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I made this moss umbrella. And at first you're just going to need some scissors and a black umbrella. I used black, so um, there wouldn't be any strange coloring underneath the moss. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm cutting off any type of string thingies, the little wraparound Velcro thing. I'm cutting that off and I am going to open it and cut off any tags or anything else that could hang down or dangle or whatever. And this is going to ensure that you don't have anything weird in your images. So it's super quick, super easy, um, unless you have a cat who keeps on trying to attack <laughs> the umbrella. So just cut off anything that hangs down or anything that's distracting, but try not to cut the actual fabric of the umbrella and just ignore your cat. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this outside because I'm going to spray paint the metal parts. So take it outside or in a well-ventilated area, and I just bought the cheapo black matte spray paint because I knew it would get the job done, and I am just very quickly going to spray paint over all of the little uh, tines, and especially make sure you get the ends of the umbrella that stick out past so you don't have any little shiny pieces. And then you need a couple different kinds of moths. I got three different kinds. I got uh, some Spanish moss. I got the brown kind and the green kind. And I also got the regular moss that you saw up front. Then you need to get your umbrella once it has dried and get you a hot glue gun and start placing the moss wherever you like. Um, just place it, see if it fits, and then put some glue down and slap it on. Um, it's pretty straightforward. This is what you're going to be doing the entire time. You are just going to figure out the placing of your moss and glue it down. Just make sure that you really pat it on so it sticks because moss is an organic material and so it can sometimes not want to stick with certain types of glue. But I didn't have any problems with using my hot glue gun and just making sure I patted it underneath and on top pretty well. Also, excuse the low quality of this video, I was testing out a new camera. Now, when you're doing this, you also want to make it kind of um, separated. You don't want to do just a big lump of just the green Spanish moss. So I tried to make it look more natural, like it had grown on there. So of course you're going to have different textures and different colors all throughout the umbrella. So I would just go and do a patch then turn my umbrella and do a different patch so that it looked more sporadic and more natural as opposed to me gluing pieces of moss to an umbrella. And I made sure I spread it out enough but made it loose enough so it wasn't super tight and that way I could go back and fluff it a little bit later to make it look more not squished and natural. I'm all about the natural today, apparently. But yeah, just go ahead and just be careful and not hot glue yourself because I swear I burned myself 100 times. And just ignore the mannequin head in the back. That is Tabitha. She is my friend. And the little blonde girl in the back. <laughs> now, you want to make sure that you're covering all the edges of your um, umbrella. I totally forgot what it was for a second. But you want to go around the very edges of it and let a little bit of the moss hang down over the black edge. Unless you want to go underneath your umbrella and fill that up with moss too. I just didn't want any harsh uh, black lines. I wanted it to kind of hang over the edge. So that's what I'm doing here. As you can see. And I believe I used maybe five or six packs of moss. And I think I just got it. I did. I just, I got it at Walmart. I got all this stuff at Walmart um, because that's all that's here in the town that I live in. But 
it's not about how much things cost or what the equipment is, it's what you can make from the equipment. And I'm a full believer in that. So I think I bought about six bags of moss, five or six, and you can see over my face, I'm just having a delightful time. Um, but, and I'm just gluing it on sporadically, pressing it on, making sure that it is sticking to my umbrella. You do have to make sure because the glue is really hot, plus the moss doesn't want to stick to it. I'm just filling in all the empty spaces. You don't want a big black gap, unless that's what you're going for, but I'm not, so don't leave any gaps. Let's go all the way around and make sure you have covered up all of the edges of the um, umbrella. I can't believe I keep forgetting what this is called. It's a moss umbrella. Hello. You want to make sure that you are fluffing out your moss and so it's not too flat looking. Fluff it out. Fluff, fluff, fluff. Now I am taking some twine that I also bought at Walmart. It was pretty cheap. I think this whole thing was $2 or something. Pretty cheap. And you are going to cut off a piece. I actually cut off too much here. I would work in shorter pieces. It's much easier. And I'm going to take my glue gun and put a strip of glue down the handle of my umbrella. And just ignore Frodo over there eating my moss off of my umbrella. But anyways, you're going to put a line of hot glue down your handle and wrap that around until you have covered the entire handle. And see, like, I had to cut it shorter. Shorter pieces make it much easier. Now, I am um, wrapping up the entire thing here. And I don't mind little bits and slivers of black showing through because I think it looks more natural that way. <laughs> and so you can just cover it to however you would like. And just go until, <laughs> and this is Vesper, she's telling you what I'm doing step by step. But I'm also covering, covering the bottom of the handle. And I'm also going to cut um, smaller strips and get in all those little crevices to make sure there's not a big block of black. Then I was testing it. And you're just going to do that as much as you want. And I'm also going to be cutting... Um, longer and shorter pieces to hang from the bottom of the handle to kind of dangle and add a little bit of interest to the prop and to the pictures. And I think I did about seven different pieces, maybe nine. I always do an odd number because I think odd numbers are more aesthetically pleasing, but you can do however many as you want or not put any on at all. But I did about seven or nine. And that is it. And you can just watch my kitty approving. He would not leave it alone. So don't leave it around your cats. They will eat it and hide in it. That is all for this tutorial. If you liked it, let me know. If you want more tutorials, let me know and I will make that happen. Okay, bye!